Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim, and thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. Today, we'll be talking something very important, and it's about moms of anybody who actually came out to say that their kids are being indoctrinated. And I am asking how they actually asked them how they started being around the bush. Number one is that why is it that they are very scared of like teaching the real history? or telling about African-American history. And they started burning books. From burning books, they said that teaching history affects or like, you know, I mean, it's a, it, it makes their kids feel fragile. Like, you know, they are not supposed to know what they have done and all that. So for that reason, I think they are really very scared that their kids are going to grow and learn about empathy and learn about the real history, what they have actually done and the horrible things they are still doing to this very moment. And then for that reason, books were banned and all that. They would rather teach kids about Christianity in school and all that, but teaching them about uh, history, it's not even like, you know, no, there is no need to teach them history because uh, they, know, they, they know nothing about it. Uh, it's like telling them that uh, they inherited, like, you know, red disease from them. You know, you know that kind of stories that they go around telling and all that. And then we went ahead to talk about uh, Make America Great. I do not like that slogan because there was never a time America was great for people that look like me. You know what? Let's get into this video. How did we get to a point where we treated other human beings as slaves and and we're okay with that when i when i see the the make america great again my comment is do you do you do you accept that that could possibly be construed as a racist remark and most people a lot of people go how could that be racist make america great again i, I said so just ask yourself from from an african-american experience when was it ever great in America for the African American? When was it great? So if you're making it great again, it's not including them. So it's, it's to teach us in the woke world to open up and, and accept the possibilities that our privilege has created blind spots for us. And maybe I haven't seen what is really happening. Yeah, in all my years. There are rogue teachers in America's classrooms right now. Rogue teachers. Rogue teachers. Parents right. send their children to school to be educated, not indoctrinated into ideology. What ideology are they being indoctrinated into? Let's just say, children in America cannot read. They often dodged questions with talking points. You're being evasive. Really? The Din Mothers for Defure were being evasive. Can't imagine why. Don't look at me like that. They're the ones quoting him in their newsletter, not me. You don't want our kids indoctrinated. Do you know how much teachers make? They don't need a second job indoctrinating your stupid kids. Have a hard enough time as it is teaching them math and science when mommy and daddy are at home telling them that the earth is flat and vaccines aren't real. The only thing your kids are being indoctrinated with is reality. I think that's what you have the real objection to. Let's be honest, you don't want them learning about the true horrors of American history. You don't want them knowing that members of the LGBTQIA plus community are actually born that way and that it's not a choice. You ban books about Hank Aaron and Jackie Robinson. A book about a little girl learning to love her black curly hair. Hmm, I wonder what the common thread is with those three books. If a little blonde girl reads a book about a little black girl coming to terms with her black curly hair, what exactly is the worst thing that's going to happen? At best, she's going to have a better understanding of her classmates. At worst, she may, I don't know, want to get a perm, maybe a weave, ask questions about edges. Honestly, I don't know that much about hair. How exactly is banning books like that preventing indoctrination? Indoctrination of what? Knowledge of hair care products. I'm for Mein Kampf, I have a serious question for you. What are you not afraid of? I'm only asking because the only things you do seem to approve of would have been all the rage in 17th century colonial England. Well, anyway, this has been Doc for Diesel Punk Industry saying please visit defenseofdemocracy.org. They're a non-political group doing all they can to combat all the nonsense from organizations like Moms for Liberty, and they could definitely use your help. 
Thanks for watching. And as always, Crunchy White, pimp forever. Rogue teachers. Parents Rogue. send their children to school to be educated, not indoctrinated into ideology. You know, I agree with the bitches of liberty. I do. I agree with them. Parents do send their kids to school to learn, not to be indoctrinated. Which is why I don't want any more references to the Bible ever talked about in the, in fucking schools. K through 12, by the way. Christianity is an ideology. I don't want the shit talked to my kid. Anybody's kid. You know. The Karen clan uh, caravan Taliban just said it. They said it better than I could. Why are we indoctrinating them with that Jesus shit? You can't prove the motherfucker was alive, so why the fuck are we talk talking about it? Keep your Ten Commandments the fuck away from every school. No more prayers in school. None. Unless you're going to let the Satanic Temple pray up in there. Yes, and expose your kids, K-12, through to the seven tenets of uh, Satanism. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that a problem? Yeah, yeah. I don't want Satanism. But then I don't want your Christianity in my fucking church. Excuse me, my school. In fact, I would like the tax-exempt status for all churches to be removed. All religious institutions should have their tax exempt status removed. I mean, obviously, Joel Olstein's big teeth having ass is doing well. Why? Why aren't you a man of God? You shouldn't be making any money. Dead ass, you shouldn't. This ain't tea, it's coffee. The caravan Taliban just said it. Kids go to school to learn, not to be indoctrinated. So keep your Christianity the fuck out of the schools. Any Christian schools that get a dime of taxpayer money should be dissolved. Send them kids to regular school. Let them learn reading, writing, and arithmetic. Not Adam and Eve or Adam and Steve, you guys keep saying. Or any, you know, biblical bullshit. I mean... You want to go there? Let's go all the way there. Since teaching about slavery is such a bad thing, then maybe we shouldn't teach about Jesus. Makes sense to me. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I agree with the, 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 you know, the mothers for ISIS. I believe in it. I, I believe exactly what they're saying. Yes. No more indoctrination. So keep your fucking religion and your Bible the fuck out of schools. Since we're doing that, let's do it all the way. Somebody tell me where I, I'm wrong. Stop me when I lie. You don't want kids to learn about the bloody history of this country? Then I don't want kids to learn about your fables. I don't. I think it should be illegal for any child or any adult to force a child to pray in school. The guy that, that won the Supreme Court... A uh, case that rubber stamped ass fucking Supreme Court to be able to pray on the 50 yard line. Yes, yeah, sue him. That's indoctrination. What about the atheist kids, moms and dads? What about the Muslim moms and dads? What about them? Oh, that's a problem, right? Oh, OK. Yeah. Cool. I'm glad we agree. Get that shit the fuck out of schools. Don't nobody want that. Don't nobody want that. Your misinterpretation of the Bible does not mean my child has to sit there and listen to the shit. My grandchild has to sit there and listen to the shit. Nope. Hmm. Sorry, I mean, you know, you banning books, ban the Bible. Ban the motherfucking Bible. Get it the fuck up out of there. With the amount of rape, or R-wording, excuse me, and murder and thievery and shit that goes on in that goddamn book, why the fuck are we letting kids even read it? Keep it the, way, the fuck away from them. In fact, I think every single Bible in America, King James, whatever, good, the Gideons, whatever, should have a parental advisory sticker on them. Not suitable for children. Let them make up their own mind. They want to be Christian when they grow up, they can be Christian when they grow up, but they can figure that out on their own. Stop trying to indoctrinate them with that shit. This is not a Christian nation. Like that ass is not.
most of the, the founding fathers were deists. They were not Christians. They weren't. Some of them were openly host hostile to Christianity. Thomas Jefferson came up with something uh, which basically just cut the Bible down to everything that Jesus said. And y'all don't even want to follow that, so it's funny. Y'all want that taught, but you don't even want to follow the shit that's actually in the motherfucker. There's rules in that bitch. You understand that, right? The Beatitudes? Oh, I forgot. The Beatitudes are woke, woke mind virus shit now, right? Right? That's how That's how far up your own ass y'all have gone. Y'all are so far up your own ass, you are now opening your own mouth to see yourself come out of it. The Beatitudes are woke. Mm-hmm. Okay. No more religious text. No more references to religion. None of that shit. At all. Period. I want that banned in schools. I want all Christian charter schools to be dissolved. All of them. If they are ran by the Catholic Church, dissolve the motherfuckers. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. You want, you want kids to learn just regular shit, not indoctrination? Then get your fucking religion up out of there. Bye. That's indoctrination. That's indoctrination. They don't need to hear it. They don't. There's a book that I want banned. In, in fact, I think it's time for a Villains Guild member to go to all the school board meetings and say that out loud. I know the reaction is going to be swift and ugly, but I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't. I will be more than happy to go to your school board meeting and saying, you know, since the Klan for Liberty bitches is here, and talking about banning books that, are, that teach indoctrination. Why is the Bible still available in anybody's library? Why is it available in the public library? Why? Strong concordance about the Bible. Don't nobody need to see that shit. Don't nobody need to see it. Because y'all ain't going to teach the real shit. Y'all not. Y'all don't want to teach about Lot's daughters. Mm, no, 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 no. Nope. Y'all love the pillar of salt story, but y'all don't love the fact that Lot set his daughters up because he had a friend that he didn't want to get uh, sicked out on the mob for some shit he actually fucking did. Y'all don't want that. No. Nope, 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 nope. Y'all love talking about the wise, the wise wisdom of Solomon, but y'all don't like talking about the fact that that motherfucker had 700 wives and 300 baby mamas or side chicks or concubines or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Y'all don't want that shit taught. So why the fuck is the book in there? Seems like indoctrination to me. Get it the fuck up out of there. Keep your prayers to yourself. To yourself. Your kid want to pray? Tell them to go in the cloakroom or closet or bathroom or t bathroom stall. Whatever the fuck. They can pray all the fuck they want. But it should not be organized by the goddamn um, the, the teachers or coaches or any of that other shit. There. Want to talk about indoctrination? Let's talk about it. Let's go there or don't, all, don't go there at all. Since the clan bitches for liberty is running around here banning books and getting it and telling people not to be indoctrinated, this, that, and the third, then listen, I'm going to take it and I'm going to use it. I'm going to use their same mindset. You're absolutely right. Now get the Bible the fuck up out of schools. K through fucking 12. There's some CRT I want to get rid of. Christian religious theory. Bye. Got to go. I don't want that CRT taught to my kids. K through 12. It's teaching kids that if you work your ass off and die, eventually when you get on the other side of death, there's going to be a guy that looks just like Kenny Loggins and some mythical fucking person is going to give you a lamb, a lion, a, house, a mansion with gold streets and shit like that. Nope, that sounds like theory to me. Ain't nobody been dead for a year and came back and said that shit's actually happening. So it's a theory. So get rid of that CRT. Christian religious theory, get rid of it. I want to ban CRT, Christian religious theory, K through 12. I don't want the shit taught to my kids. And if you get tax dollars for saying any of this bullshit, then yeah, I want you, I, I want you to lose your tax exempt status and be grandfathered into paying taxes at like, I don't know, 50, 60 fucking percent. Yeah. And keep that shit away from my goddamn kids. Keep it away from my grandkids. Keep it away from everybody's kids because it's indoctrination, right? Right. I know I just pissed some of y'all off and guess what? I don't give two flying fucks. I don't. Two can play that game, but you won't like it when I play it. So this is all I got from this video, and it's really amazing how people sit back and uh, they just want to uh, talk. Because sometimes I feel like moms of liberty, they just 
are out there to uh, <clears throat> to arise. I haven't seen anything good coming up from them, you know. And why are they talking about indoctrination when it is, I mean, it's really crazy how they don't want to talk about, uh, I mean, when you talk about history, black American history, when you talk about, I mean, when it comes to race, slavery and all that, it violates them, you know. It's not good for them because you are indoctrinating them and their kids are so fragile that you don't have to make them feel like they were the ones that caused the problem and the rest of it. So they do not want their kids to know anything. And now they are scared of indoctrination. Who is indoctrinating who? So it's, wait, if we are not going to talk about slavery, which is um, your own history, how do you want to teach people about Christianity? Because they want people to learn about Christianity and all that. I mean, teach about uh, I mean, Christianity in general. Why do you? Everybody is not a Christian, right? And uh, some people do not want to, but they are also looking for a way how they are going to wipe. Okay, like it's not like wipe away. You all already know how they have banned books and all that. Remove this, remove that because it hurts their feelings and all that. So for that reason, they want to incorporate uh, 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 Christianity into schools instead of teaching them the real thing. It's really amazing how they are very scared of, I don't know, I think they just do not want their kids to know what they did. I mean, they just do not want their kids to know how horrible of a person of people they are. So for that reason, you always see them running away, looking for a way to like, you know, cover everything or ban books, ban this, ban that, right? Because yeah, why do you have to teach about this? Why do you have to tell people about that? And all? they are afraid of why shit. And that is just it. They lie with so the the fact that they lie with so much ease is something that I really do not understand. And that the fear that their children are going to learn uh, or probably learn empathy and all that or understand, like you know, these people have really been lying to us about everything that happened. They are really so scared of that. So for that reason, they are looking for a way as much as they can to cover up everything. I think you all should let your children know whom you are because you all have been hiding under the umbrella more with liberty and the rest of it. Hiding under the umbrella that you guys are, are amazing people. They really need to know whom they are and understand the evil and all the horrible things they've been doing and the rest of it. Now, I don't care about them, but then it is what it is. You all can see everything going on. Moms of liberty now, from now, and like, you know, all the time looking for a way to be in black people's business. That's why they went. And they always look for a way to, I mean, like, you know, cover up things when they do not want to answer questions. And you see them running away from the question and trying to, like, who is indoctrinating who? Let's understand that. And you, you all already know how I do not like anything that got to do with it. Make America great. It is never what I want. I don't want to hear about it because it was never, ever great for my own people. So how do you want to make it great again? How? It was not great back then for my people. And now you also want to bring back that the same Make America great. So I, you all know how much I detest that statement or some word. I don't like it when people say it. And I try as much as I can to tell them, please, it was never great for my people. Is it now that you want to make it great? Back then, that was that was slavery, Jim Crow, like a lot of it, redlining, which is still happening to this very moment, but which is kind of subtle, but nothing changed. So they want to take us from, like, you know, they want to take us back to where we started. No, please, cut that. Don't make America great pay reparations and we need better like just pay reparations and dismantle the system that is oppressing my own people we are just gonna be fine do not make america great because it was never great for us see you all in my next video bye for now